Good day everyone and welcome back for another stream. Hope you are having one of a wonderful day wherever you might be. So I got to play a bit offline as well yesterday and but today and I am now in summer and we've made a big bunch of progress. We haven't triggered any events except there was a dream. Um, where the Harvest Sprites combine together to become Bon Vivant, the chef guy. That's pretty much all you must. I didn't want to hold back the entire year, just so you guys could see that, because, yeah, this is the dream. Um, anyway, as you can see, our relationship levels are quite high with most people. And the Nature Sprite's also doing pretty well with regards to affection. And we've got two new cows, Jelly and Smoothie, that are going to give us some level 9 cows when they give birth. And we finally have... Oh, I won one of the chicken competitions as well with Quiche, so we could got some gold eggs, because this chicken hasn't been left outside. Um, for 600 hours or whatever it is. I need to sell omelettes. The reason I still have this omelette chicken is because I couldn't go back into the poultry, because it was an event. Which we'll probably do quite soon, actually. Um, also we have Penny, which is our new, like, championship bunny. As you can see, she's got a maximum of 10 hearts. So, yeah, hopefully she'll be ready for the Fluffy Festival, although I highly doubt it. But, yeah, next up is the Mumu Festival, which we have Helios. He's got 10 hearts, and they're all maxed out, so he's ready to win. <clears throat> anyway, let's carry on. Also, I need to upgrade my farm. I uh, just got about 300,000 gold, so I can actually upgrade the soil at God's Place a bit later on. Let me just start out with, we'll help out the nature sprites a little bit. And yeah, we'll get our day going. Hopefully, oh, another thing I did is we won, my dog and I won another Fetch fest thing. Yeah. That's pretty much all. Okay, so right now we're just raising up money and whatever. Um, whatever comes our way that we need to buy. I think at the moment we've gotten most of the things. We just need to... Um, Upgrade the field, and I think we have pretty much every upgrade. Oh, we can upgrade the silos and stuff, but that's not exactly like a huge priority. But we will get to it. As you can see here, I want chicken won the Cluck Cluck Festival, and we have gold eggs. Why do I have two gold eggs? That's weird. Oh well. I won't complain. Yeah, I still haven't got one of those X eggs, so... Man, I'm trying to feed them the wrong thing. I'm like, well, I'm wondering why these guys aren't taking anything. What a dum-dum. And I can't wait to sell this guy, because I've just been feeding him, and he's just not all that useful. I might say that, but I can still sell his fur and stuff for a decent amount. make sure pennies are maximum hearts I'll try and get maximum affection every day because then we might stand a chance in the fluffy festival in autumn although it's a fool's chance unfortunately I don't think we'll be able to sell anything today in regards regarding the chickens because I think the poultry is closed on a Monday because of course they are Uh, oh, it's Sundays. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I would take it back, but I don't care. Are we getting all these guys on their way as well? I think oh, this will be a rank 9. Hey, Penny, how's it going? Welcome back. Hope you're having an awesome day. Yeah, after these cows give birth, we'll have rank 9 cows for the fruit and strawberry. Um, 
Yeah, short rib. I mean, Brisket needs to give birth still. Dios is full. And William or Wilde or whatever is going to need some TLC too. So we're on our way to getting things done, which is really nice. It just takes forever to get through the years while trying to make money, you know? You just sat down with a coffee and fried egg sandwich. Ah, right, cool. Sounds good. Except for the egg part. Because I don't like egg. But otherwise, if you like egg, I guess it's a good thing. <laughs> ah, and I'm dropping frames. I'm sorry, guys. What the hell? Actually, I've been dropping frames like crazy. Uh, what the hell? 18%? Um, I don't have any uploads going. So, yeah, this is very curious. Wait a second. I can't be dropping one fifth of all my frames. Um, yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, 18% and it's going up to 20. Okay. I'm going to do this. Um, yeah, it's just not stabilizing. What the hell? Okay, is it stabilizing now, I hope? Yeah, looks like it's stabilized, but man, that was pretty insane. Okay, never mind. If it happens again, I'll have to try something, I guess. But that was pretty insane. Yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on my frames now. 5418. Oh, no, there we go. What the hell? Um. Let's see if this stabilizes after a little bit. Hmm, maybe I should try to change the server. Just hold on, everybody, guys. Let's check the settings for that. Using London. Uh, stabilized, okay. Still on 720p for streaming, okay. Uh, no, and there goes again. What the hell? Okay, I'm just gonna try to connect to another server. Okay, let's see if this is a better. Let's see if there's a message from my ISP or anything about this. Uh, And now it's giving me a stream key error. Yay, isn't this lovely? Let's try UK London 4. So it was on 3. I click apply. Okay, start. Okay, let's see if that worked. Sorry about that. Okay, so if we help these guys out, we need to go to God's place and upgrade our field. Okay, so far so good. Hey, got my man. So about that field upgrade you were telling me about. 
Oops. Field level five, finally. Okay, we still haven't dropped another frame. That's good. That was really weird. Um, we're gonna go to Penny, Popol Tree, or whatever it's called. Yeah, maybe it was just a bad connection? No idea. Should be fine now. Hopefully. Well, Miss Lilia? Oh, how lovely! Thank you again, Jenny. Hmm. My, my, if it isn't savage. Hello, sweetie. Uh, hey, savage. Hmm? I'm, uh, uh, I'm here to deliver a sachet of potpourri to Miss Lilia. I make them with flowers I found in the mountains and dried. They are primarily for my personal satisfaction by sharing with others from time to time. I think that this plant will help transport Miss Lilia to the mountains in spirit, if not in body. Why are you trying to kill her? Jenny Ray does blend the best potpourri. Everything she makes smells so wonderful. I feel like an excitable little girl every time we hear she's bringing another sachet by. Oh, I do say love potpourri. Oh, if you can guess my daughter's name. Actually, I was thinking of bringing some potpourri to you later, Savage. I specifically tear each blend I make to the recipient's taste. May it transport you somewhere peaceful. I told you, this one is better! No, it isn't! Ah oh dear, they're arguing again. And right when we have guests too, I'm so very sorry. They really are sweet children, but somehow, they always find a way to butt heads with one another. Ah, oh, yeah, open to disagreement is a sign that they trust one another enough to express their true feelings. Of course, it isn't good to let one's temper take control and say hurtful things or, heaven forbid, use violence. Anyway, we're back. It looks like we're back. I haven't dropped another frame since I restarted. Um, so yeah, it's a bad connection, I think. But I can see no danger with those two. Their arguments are an expression of their affection to one another for one another. I must admit, I've had a small pang of jealousy. If only I too had a partner with whom I could argue so passionately. Looking at Drek and Papari, it is plain that they were both raised with care and affection. Thanks in no small part to a wonderful and loving mother, I'm sure. Oh, Jenny, that was so sweet. Thank you. You know, hearing you say that makes me feel much better. For well, someone who marches to the beat of her own drum as much as you do, Jenny, you make some very astute observations. <laughs> I like to think it is precisely for that reason that I can, actually. Perhaps that is why I've always cultivated a more free and unrestrained worldview. Ah, uh, Rick, why do they always have to... Me? You're the one who's always... Uh, they may be arguing because they love each other, but I still think I'm going to put a stop to it. I'm really sorry, this should only take a minute. Oh, Lily is kicking out the whip gonna beat them into a whipped cream. Argue it may be a sign of how much they care for each other, but I can't commend it putting it to the extent that it worries and annoys their mother. Hmm? You seem surprised by how much I observe the people around me? <laughs> to be honest, I generally take pains to not interfere with the affairs of others. However, Miss Lilia seemed rather vexed, so I thought to make a special exception for her. Wow, you have a great heart, I guess. Oh, I'm flattered you'd think so, but I'm afraid that I'm not a particularly kind person at heart. I simply prioritize harmony, that's all, and in order to maintain a peaceful coexistence with others, it is critical to focus on the merits and talents of everyone around you, rather than their faults. After all, you must first give love and respect if you want to receive it in turn. That goes not just for human beings, but for animals and even nature itself. I am simply putting that concept into practice, that is all. Get this, listen to me, here I am talking your ear off, my apologies. For some reason, talking with you seems to loosen my tongue and I end up practicing on for hours. 
Yeah, well... Let me not stop you from stopping yourself. Well, I am very flattered by your compliment. It's odd, for some reason, being with you puts me at ease. Perhaps our souls are resonating on a similar wavelength. <laughs> Either way, uh, by the by, this Lilia certainly is taking some time to return. Hmm, perhaps I will take my leave then. He's beating her kids up to a pulp, I'm telling you. <sighs> oh, shit, I got potpourri, yay! Okay, frames are still stable, that's good. So, Peter. And we'll sell Omelet. Who are we marrying? Harvest Goddess. That's why I'm still playing. <laughs> we're getting there, even if it's gonna, like, over my dead body. Okay, um, what's next? I'm surprised that other event didn't trigger. There was another event I kept triggering with Potpourri and Rick arguing as well, but a different one. Um, what did this guy really like? Grapes or something? Honey? No, I don't know. Um, what else did we want to do? Go into people's houses and just check around for events for now. Okay, nothing here. Actually, while we're here, and then the mayor. Oh, look, everyone, the whole family's here. I would give something to Karen, but she'll probably not like whatever I get her. And they still got cheese here. I wonder if she likes onigiri. Oh, well, whatever. Dun, 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 dun. That was the doctor. Oh. Savage, could you come here for a moment? Doctor's acting strangely. He seems to be lost in thought and has a permanent scowl plastered on his face. I tried talking to him, but he won't so much as acknowledge me. You don't have any plans today. Would you spot try speaking with him? Thank you, if you would please. Oh, it's you. Hmm. Ellie is worried about me. Uh, I hate to have trouble though. I've been deep in thought today. I was thinking about how I interact with my patients. Apparently, something about me makes me difficult to approach. I was wondering if there might be something I can do to that end. What do you think? Open up your heart. Open up my heart, you say. I see. You have rightly assessed that I am the type of man who doesn't freely speak with others. Perhaps from their point of view, I have erected a wall between us. It's strange. I've never spoken of my worries with someone else before, and yet I can easily discuss them with you. Yes, I understand now. This, this is what it means to open one's heart. Thank you. Your reassurance gives me confidence. I'll continue to work hard. Well then, you do that. Oh cool. No more events there. Anything happening here? Let's may as well, may as well go here. And uh, whoops. Let's make a confession. I picked on an animal? Yeah, let's do that. How, how could you? I did not take you for such a cruel and cold individual. Did you enjoy tormenting that poor creature? Was it fun to lord it over them? Yes. If you did feel that way, then I'm afraid there is no hope of salvation for you. The divine have no forgiveness for sinners like you. Heavenly retribution will surely rain down from above. I think that'll be enough for today. Please feel free to come again whenever you like. Jeesh, Carter. 
Um, is there anything going on in the inn? There is. What's the matter, Ryan? You don't look very steady on your feet. Uh, I don't, it's probably just your imagination. I'm totally fine. Don't lie to me. Your face is white as a sheet. I told you, I'm fine. Uh, Ryan, what's happening? My stomach hurts. Uh oh, she's giving birth. Quick, punch her in the gut. Savage, help me! Ran is... Oh, my stomach hurts so much. <laughs> Keep it together, Ran. What should we do? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> to the clinic. R right, the clinic. We have to get her to the clinic. Quickly, help me, Savage. Or oh, is Ran going to be alright? It's not some serious illness, is it? She's dead. Hey, Ran! You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. After the doctor examined me, my stomach stopped hurting. Doctor, is Ran really okay? She's not sick, is she? Yes, she'll be fine. She's simply over eight. Huh? Run me by that by me again. She just over eight? What exactly did you eat? Um, vegetable stir fry, omelette rice, okonomiyaki, tempura unan, and cheesecake, apple pie, cake, ice cream, pumpkin pudding to fish off. <laughs> what kind of idiot told her to our raise? Of course your stomach is going to hurt after eating all of that. Hey, it's not my fault it all looks so yummy. Now, now, calm down you two. She's free of illness and that's what's most important here. Yeah, I guess so, but here I was making such a huge fuss over her when all she did was overeat. I didn't even know what to say. See how much you made Dudley worry, Ran? You must be careful not to overeat again. Hey, yeah, okay, I'll be careful. Hey, things are finally settled down. Dad gave me an earful. I should apologize to you too, Savage, for making such a scene. And thanks, I was kind of touched. You were so concerned about me that you even helped me take me to the clinic. Oh, before I forget, wait here a sec. It's broken, so it doesn't play music anymore, but it's one of my most beloved treasures. Please take it, Savage. There's no deep meaning behind it or anything, it's just my way of saying thanks. Ah, oh, she went all Cindere. Take care of it, okay? I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it good. Ah, oh, you can't throw it. <laughs> it was in your spin. Excuse me, young lad. Do I have a bin in here? If not, I could just put it on like a display case or something. I don't know why people keep giving me things that don't work and then they say, Oh, it's my beloved treasure. Like, come on, come on. Um, it's very frisbee, I guess. Meow. Look how graceful my dog is. The air running through its head, and he jumps on top of the frisbee. <laughs> yeah, this time if you miss Doggy, we're cutting off your feet because you obviously don't need them. Okay, we're cutting off your feet. That's it. Hey, Lady the Mermelade. How is? Thank you very much for the raid. To everyone here, welcome. Playing Story of Seasons. Currently in year five, I think. Just playing some frisbee with my dog, he can't catch the frisbee for his life today, if was don't have a clue why. <laughs> Let's try an easy one for him. Maybe he can manage this. Yay, there we go. 
Oh, awesome, it upgraded. Sorry, you love me and leave you, but it's bedtime. Have an awesome stream. Thank you very much. Thanks again for the stream. And I hope you have a wonderful sleep. So, basically, we pretty much reached the end game. My current target waifu is the Harvest Goddess, and to do that, you need to ship one of every item. So, to do that, we have to win a whole bunch of competitions, and obviously ship stuff that you wouldn't normally get, like, or stuff that's very hard to get, like Yarn X, for instance. You have to have a sheep that has won a competition, then it has to be outside for like 600 hours, and on top of that all, um, that's a 0.4% chance. So yeah, we're busy upgrading all of our livestock. Ah, oh great, and it's a typhoon, of course. Just got my lovely farm working, and it has to ruin all of it. Even though I've got full friendship with the Harvest Goddess, she, you know, she should be like manipulating the weather in my favor. <sighs> oh well. What can one do? Uh, let's put this trash here. For now. Good morning, Savage. The Moon Moon Festival is tomorrow at Rose Plaza. Pretty exciting, right? What do you think about entering an adult cow from Organ? My farm was called Organ Farm. Of course, why not? Then, which cow will you enter? Any cow that's producing milk is fine, but pregnant cows aren't allowed. We're gonna go with Helios. Okie dokie, I'll take Helios with me. Cool. Looks like we've got some harvest, a, a nice harvest of corn, which is nice. We're gonna have to have out the harvest price a little bit because even though they're maxed out, they still are managed to get my entire farm. I also I've maxed out all my tools, so this is like the mythic watering can, which does a nine by nine area, which is quite nice. So spoilers, <laughs> I guess if you want to play this. Okay. Now, as you can see, when there's a typhoon, it messes up your farm, which really sucks. And there's not much you can do about it, to be honest. Except, of course, replant things or whatever. But things that are recurring, you don't really want to replant because then your whole farm looks weird because some things are growing, and while other things aren't. And ugh. I like everything to happen together because, I don't know, it's just one of my little weird things. At least it's easy enough to get rid of these stones. Cool. And if there's any wood around, you can just break it off like this. Boom! Oh. Now it'll break every piece of wood and stone on my screen. Or well, in this area, actually. So yeah, it's pretty handy to have. We should probably tend to my cows and stuff. Yeah, so another thing about this game, when you start off with your livestock, they have a maximum affection of 5. Which means they don't give you very good things. And the only way to increase that is to actually have your cows get pregnant. And then when they give birth, if their affection level is full, the maximum affection for that generation will increase by one maximum heart. So if you want to get maximum stuff, a uh, maximum level stuff, you have to keep doing that until you get a maximum affection of 10, which is the highest you can get in the game. Yeah, it's, it's quite a long process. I think they changed from the original. So some of it's a bit grindy, so I've been paying this offline to try and expedite the process.